Yeah. If you haven't done that, duct there, tape there gets warm. No, it insulates heat very well. There is no circulation in here. I'm going to be sweating. Oh, perfect. Oh, do we have a name? Uh, I'm just going through these to see if there's any new ones. You might have wanted to be able to type in your Ooh. name before you... Uh, no, no. Or Pix has come way. back with $49. I'm back to make sure that Mariko wins the file name for Fallout, um, which puts it $1 ahead. Okay. Uh, is there a final refresh? <laughs> that is uh, I'm just going to do a refresh, final I mean. refresh now. If you're not in on this refresh, then you've missed it, basically. Yep. I'm ready here. Ready to type. One finger. <laughs> Only one. That's all you need. We learned not oh, to there name is it Mike 89. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Perfect. Oh. Sorry, I'm a bit shorter. Um, <laughs> no, just a bit. Actually, I'm slouching, but I should I should do that. It's bad position. Uh, it's bad posture. It's bad for you guys. <coughs> Final on the refresh right. says right. we're we're waiting on the survey says <laughs> yes. Refresh can take a little bit of time. Yeah. yeah. We're waiting on the merge. Right, we're doing it now. Yeah. We probably need Last, research. the final merge. Wow. Are we getting a chance? Because it's been a while. Well, yeah, yeah. You've, had, you've had your chance, so if it's not in, in this merge, I mean, then it's not getting counted. That, you guys should reset for a warning. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Well, I'm just, well, it's, it's merging now. Okay. Okay. So, All right, we're just going to check the final merge. Yes. yes. Sorry if you missed it. I'm going to finish drinking this thing before we even start. <laughs> then we're going to have to swap you for water. <laughs> I totally saw you look at the desk like you wanted to put it down, but then realized <laughs> that you can't. I can put it down. This is perfect. I can just rest it on here. I can. Is that a comfortable position for your wrist? Oh, yeah. Like rest it um, okay. It's actually, it. this is All actually right. even better because I don't. I, so I can cover we, up the name of the. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mariko. So, Mariko. Can you no spell that for me, please? Here. Yes. yes. Uh, I have to get the capitals. <laughs> uh, no, it's gonna be all caps. Oh. Yeah. Th this is this is a speed run. We go all caps in this. All right. Mariko. M A R. Oh, is it, is it caps only? This is the only mouse plugged in. Yes. Okay. So did you say it was caps is only? It yes, caps only. Okay, M A R I K O. Go between the left side of the keyboard and the mouse. Okay. Sorry about that. Yeah, no, no, no. No worries. No worries. That's fine. That's fine. M A R I K O? Yeah. All right. Um. You know what? That's a female name, but it's going to be age 25 and male. We're just going to keep it like that. That's um, mm -hmm. going to be pretty good, I think. So, this is Fallout, and to begin the game, let me make sure I actually have everything alright here. <coughs> no one needs charisma ever. Um, if you ever play with charisma, you are either abusing yourself or abusing yourself. There's nothing else possible. Um, all of these things we will, will be very useful for us uh, later on. We just have to make sure that I tag the right skills. Oh, I hadn't thought about this particular bit here. Okay, okay. We can do this, we can do this. Alright, um, so t uh, timing starts as soon as I gain control, which will be... And now. So, oh. Oh, this is bad. Okay, let's, let's pause the timing for a second here. <laughs> While I turn, uh, change the settings here. I forgot that since we, uh, we just installed this game, so we need all of this stuff. We need to be always running, and combat speed needs to be quite fast. Awesome. I'll turn on subtitles just for fun, so you guys can uh, follow along. Yeah. Restart timer. Yeah. yeah, restart, please. So, this Fallout run, uh, the first one uses one glitch, and the rest is just um, abusing the fact that the game lets you beat the game, or the, yeah, the, the game lets you, you know, accomplish all your objectives in a various number of ways. This is the glitch I'm going to be using. It's that I can start combat whenever I want, and when combat ends, they give me like a split second to sort of, okay, they give me a sort of split second to sort of uh, choose another action. And the action I choose is to start combat again, which gives me another 10 full movement points. <laughs> um, basically, that lets me skip every bit of combat in this particular run. Now, here is where the run is made or broken, is in the RNG of, <sighs> Is in this RNG here. So, <laughs> basically the more encounters I get, the less good it is. Um, in my personal best, which is also the world record, I get a single encounter up top and a single encounter uh, in the second half, or in the second leg of my journey. 
So, um, this story, when you play it normally, it's the story of, you know, a man trying to search for salvation for his, oh, salvation, for his, uh, vault, for his people. Um, when you speedrun it, it's a story about a dude who likes blowing buildings up. <laughs> and he saves the world somehow. That sounds like a good game. <laughs> it's a pretty good, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty much a I'd better, that game. that's a better I, story, I really. People. Yes. So... Literally, it's just run left. That's that's the game so far. We run left. That's very innovative. Pretty invigorating. <laughs> it really yeah. is. Um, okay, so here, real quick here, we do need to make sure that we arrive here at around the morning time. This is, we arrived here at one in the afternoon, which I hope is okay. I believe so. We're going to want to talk to the master. And then he is going to want to uh, punch me to death. It's a sort of... Uh, take my information from me. Instead, I'm just gonna juke him out, pick a lock, and take a key. It's because, uh, so we can abuse the fact that he moves really slowly to do that. So he wants to move towards me to punch me, and that's like a set thing. And normally, I guess, if, you, uh, if you're just playing through casually, you don't know that he's coming to punch you, and it's a surprise, but I know this, so I'm just gonna run away. Uh, I took a hit there through that energy field, and I'm gonna be taking several hits through the energy fields. This is why I got eight endurance. Normally, endurance is not exactly a preferred stat for most speedruns, but for us, it is. Um, because you can take up to 30 damage through the energy doors, and eight endurance gives you 32 health, so perfect. We're gonna want to access the code, and the code tells the base to blow up. Now, it says we have 300 seconds. That's a lie. We've got about 200. The game actually lies to you, and um, so if you think you have 300 seconds and you try to stay a little bit longer, sorry, you're dead. What a pleasant game. It's really nice, yeah. Um, thankfully, this, the game gives us a few... Uh, oh, hey, I got 32 already. Awesome. Yeah, so the stim packs give you a variable amount of health back. Oops, real quick here. Need to avoid this guy using the same combat glitch. He has a... Uh, laser uh, plasma gatling gun or something like that so he is especially important to skip so i'm going to take a little extra time here one extra turn to make sure that i get out of there uh marathon strats now we come here same thing start combat get over here start combat again make sure i have full health yes last time i did this um i forgot to heal myself and i just fried myself going through that door it was not exactly pleasant Okay, um, yeah, I do need to kill myself again. We're gonna go through one last laser door, which is here. <laughs> okay, good. Um, actually, this, is, this has been really lucky for me. I haven't taken that much damage, uh, ever. Um, let's see, do I quick save here, or do I just go for it? Make the decision for me right now. Go, go for it. it. Go for it, okay. <laughs> okay, so basically, every, every once in a while, Okay, we're safe, good. Um, sometimes <laughs> you just randomly fail the speech encounter right there, and he just says, I don't believe you, and he shoots you straight off. Um, <coughs> it's very, very rare that it happens, but it's happened to me a few times, so. And you do not have enough health. No, I, I die, one, I, I get hit once and I die. Okay, so congratulations, you just defeated one of the major uh, enemies in the game, the, or one of the major like areas in the game, the uh, military base. And now that we've defeated the military base, we've gained information about the other hidden evil um i know that if you play the game normally it's about finding a water chip and stuff like that we don't we don't touch yeah. a water chip no mm -mm. the the initial objective water? of like, the game you, uh -oh. you, you ignore we have completely. stumbled upon a large pack of rad scorpions we need to run away from said large pack of rad scorpions i chose the wrong direction this there is so much map going this way oh i chose poorly How much um, is that? Because the one hand. Uh, none of it. Basically, so like the encounters are pretty much random. <laughs> so I just need to like for a world record run, uh, for a world record attempt, I just have to choose a direction and just run and hope. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I just have to run and hope. Because it takes too much time to check. Yes. Well, it doesn't take so much time, but it's like a uh, fourteen. You know, it's like oh, actually, no, the the record is like eight nine minutes. So, oh, come on. 
is yeah, the record. Well this time. Yeah, so like if, if I spend even a second, that's a second I could be using doing other things like um, winning the game. There we go. So this is a change. If you look at the SDA run, this is a change in route. Basically, the SDA run goes into the town above us that you saw there, the other green circle, uh, to grab a bit of robes. A, I don't, how, what do you call like a one oh. robe? A, no, a singular robe. It's not like a pair of robes. It's just a, a robe. singular robe. A robe, I guess. Um, instead, we're going to fail to pick that lock, and we're going to try again. All right, we're going to pick the lock. And inside here, we're going to have five of these super stims. And now these super stims, what they do is they heal you for a large <laughs> amount, but then after a certain amount of time, they do damage you. We're going to run over to this guy. He's a shopkeeper. And we are going to heal him to death. Oh, come here, you. We are going to heal the crap out of you. Use. So, the and one... Since it's a healing action, it doesn't count as aggressive? Nope, it's not <laughs> aggressive until he takes damage. And um, the way that we do it, by the time he takes damage, it will be already too late. And now, what we do? We just take a nap for 10 minutes. <laughs> and when we wake up, we have a dead shopkeeper here, who conveniently gave us his clothes. Reminds me of the end in Metal Gear Solid 3. The optional way that... <laughs> Awesome. So, um, we've done a lot of stuff, so we can just sort of learn to take our levels right now. What do we want? Well, we just want to pick some locks, really. <laughs> we don't need anything else, for the most part. Um, That's right. It's... See, what can I do here? I can I can bump this up to like this. Sure, why not? 67%. Yeah. Um. Actually, ideally, let, let me see how much speech I have here. Um. I only really need about 140. The rest of this can go in here. 179. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Better be safe. And I save my last point always for uh, unarmed, just in case I need to defend myself because I don't have any weapons right now. Awesome. Sounds weird. Yep. Yep. So you got the special purple robes. I do have the special purple robes, and they disguise me. When I'm wearing them, people think I'm a member of this uh, cult of the of the children, the children of the uh, the followers, the children, the somethings. I don't even know anymore. They're they're named something, and they are not very important because they're too gullible. So we were supposed to follow some guy over here and to see that he has done something with this bookcase. Um, I'm just gonna, you know, all of a sudden find a hidden latch in here. What a surprise! These guys won't attack me, these mutants here, they won't attack me because I'm wearing the robes. These guys here, at least, will try to do their jobs. But, you know, myself being so charming, I can just tell them, Hey, look, I'm doing important stuff. Don't stop me. And, perfect. So the points in speech are just safety there, so you don't yeah. fail the speech thing? Uh, the points in speech, I will actually fail the speech there if I don't put the points in that speech. Yeah. yeah. We are going to run over here. Over here, this door is locked. And then we're going to open the door, and then we're going to lock pick this elevator door, which somehow also is locked. Um, I don't know how they do that. <clears throat> how do you lock back an elevator no. door? No. Uh, if you notice also, these doors don't have any locks either. They're like the slidey electronic doors. Mm. I don't... That's just how it was locked. But, how do you, you know, unlock it? You lock picked a card <laughs> lock or something? I don't know. Well, you see, normally you can't unlock it, but I have a 170% lock. That's a lot of lock, you know what <laughs> I mean? You can, you can do a lot of things with that kind of locking power, or unlocking power, as the case may be. So I'm going to start combat here, because as soon as I use this thing on this uh, computer, as soon as I use this key, it starts off the, if you see here, there's a timer, there's a countdown for the explosion of this place. Um, I'm going to use the combat glitch again here, so that they don't aggro to me. Normally they would, and they would just shoot me and kill me. And then I just get to stroll out of here, real nice and easy-like. Like, this whole area is really cool, and he's just like. I even get a chance to take a over. sip of my delicious soda, <laughs> generic lemon lime flavored soda. My no known brand, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So we're gonna open this up. We're gonna go to the first floor, and then I'm gonna open up my inventory to take off these robes because you know what? These guys are so helpful. They will actually even escort me out. 
I just have to say, I followed a suspicious stranger looking. Or I followed a suspicious stranger over here, and he looked kind of like you. So, uh, I'm just gonna go now. Thanks. So he kicks me out. Um, out of a building that's gonna explode. How helpful of him. He, he wanted to get the innocent bystanders out of the way. Ready on the train? Uh, it, it'll, yeah, get ready for it, but, um, so here's the last little troll this game has. Sometimes the overseer just does not spawn for a bit, and if that's the case, then, uh, we may have to, uh, 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 come on, uh, come on, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I can actually run the entire length of this place and not get the overseer to spawn, as is the case right now. So I'm just gonna make, I'm just gonna force him to spawn his way here. There we go. Um... And time. Twelve oh three. Fair enough. Fair enough. That's uh, pretty wow. good for was... pretty good for the one-handed category. Yeah. It takes um, most people. That's actually the world longer. record yeah. for the one-handed category, I believe. All right. Oh, yes. nice. Yeah. World yeah. record one-handed. All right. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. All right. There. Some uh, donation incentives. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, the donation comments. Are we okay for them? Sure. Okay, under this beautiful backdrop of music or not? No, uh, Thirty dollars. Second. Yeah. Uh, oh. 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 Mm -hmm. The game decided not to end for a second. Mm. Thirty dollars for Matthew Ream. Okay, uh, thanks for the, the GTA around. nostalgia. <laughs> yes. So I didn't get to do it before. Over, uh, didn't plan on being up till five forty-five a.m. Yeah. watching somebody else play video games, but it's all for the cause, right? Just, like, Safe travels. Okay. Uh, uh, indeed, it was. Yeah, and thanks very much for your uh, for your kind donation. Uh, Fifteen dollars from Sergey Larin. Great job, guys. Wish you the best. Yeah, indeed. Thanks very much. Ten dollars from Tim Lutz. Great going. The GTA Three run was fun to watch. I'd like to. I like my donation to go to Adam, showing off some of his Mongolian throat singing prowess. <laughs> Throat singing prowess. Yeah, I know that's a reference to something. All right. We'll, we'll have it later, Is maybe. It too wide. Um, uh, it's actually to Trevor like Hunt donated five dollars and fine. rather amusingly okay. wrote, "This um, guy didn't leave a comment, so I'm going to make one up." Boy, this is fun. Uh, there, this, this counts oh, no, the Fallout collection giveaway, right? right. Uh, indeed, it does, because well, uh, you donated well, during okay, the sure. run. Twenty-five dollars from Andrew Cow. Um, they're going to have to cut off Lee's hand due to loss of circulation. May my money go towards the cost of band aids. Just kidding, put five towards the Scott Pilgrim Perlers, five towards the Charmander Perler, and the rest on the Link Perler. Um, just to clarify, if you want to be entered into for prizes, you need to donate during the running question. So for the Scott Pilgrim Perlers, you'd need to donate five dollars or more during the Scott Pilgrim run, and, and so on. For and you don't have to donate more. for the Perlers, you yeah. just donate during that time, and, and you'll be automatically entered for Yeah, you, you don't need to say that you're donating for the Perlers.